Hi, I'm Lovely, and today I'm going to review Tortured Among Us, Episode 9, How I Conquered the World, by Tim Foley, Ash Darby, and James Goss. <laughs> God damn, let's, get, let's go to uh, predictions and thoughts already. God damn, I'm gonna be real, I'm really excited. I have just been on a trip recently, and I was not thinking about Torchwood, um, like when it was coming out, and as soon as I came back from the trip, uh, it released. So yeah, let's let's read the description. So, hello friend, you've probably all still got an account on friend. Can you remember what you posted on it? Are you still using the same password? And did you ever say goodbye? This one, I am excited for. I'm excited for all of this. Um, Torchwood usually sticks the landing when it comes to the end of their seasons for a big finish. And at least for me, I'd say the show in general. So... I'm pretty excited. Do I have any predictions? Maybe not for this episode, but maybe as the part, uh, maybe the, like, part as a whole? Um, I don't know. I don't actually know. Hmm. I feel like we're gonna really feel like the end of Torchwood with this. I don't know. I think I mentioned it in one of the other, uh, reviews, but I really feel like Torchwood may be coming to an end soon. We'll have to see. Um... But other than that, I don't think I have much. Uh, yeah, it's obvious this is going to be the Social Network episode, so I'm kind of curious on what it's going to, like, tackle. But, yeah, other than that, I don't have much uh, in terms of predictions. I, I would say this. I do hope this last part is more of the cast together, like how the last episode is. But I don't think that's going to be the case. Um, like... You can really tell how different this series is in uh, compared to the first two, uh, where it's like those are like the whole team, like the team is together pretty much the whole time. And this one, it is split off, split off, split off, except for last episode. Uh, so I hope there's more the team together, but we'll have to see. I believe last episode ended up with them being like. <laughs> it's kind of they're kind of like how they started like yeah we we did a bunch of stuff but it's like nope you guys just got a bunch of shit pinned on you good luck uh well yeah i'm i'm lovely let's get started i'll see you in a bit okay i'm lovely and i just listened to how i conquered the world by tim foley ash darby and james goss and this is this is one of my favorite episodes of the show <laughs> of the entire series Oh my god, this one is really good. Uh, I took a lot of notes during the episode, so this is going to be a long review. But god damn, where do I even start? I, hmm. So I want to try to do a little summary of how I feel. And then I'll go into my, my notes, I think. I think that makes sense. Um, no, but this one, this is a good episode for me to understand uh, the antagonist of this series. I think I referenced it before. I think at the start of part two, I was like, oh, this is about a, an evil social network or something. And that was me mostly going off of what the description said on Twitter. Because I remember when part one finished, I didn't really understand what was going on um, with episode four. And I'm like, okay, if the Twitter is saying this, or, you know, if Twitter is saying this, then I'm going to have to go with that so I can understand this more. Because I didn't understand it, you know? Um, and that's, that's on me. But, with this episode, completely get it. Same with the end of, uh, same with episode 8. Episode 8, uh, was a really good setup episode for this. Um, but no, this was just about a forgotten social media network. <laughs> fucking, like, alright, I need to reset you guys. You guys suck. <laughs> uh, let me do that. And fuck you, Torchwood, for not helping. Or something along those lines. I didn't do it justice. But no, I was really, really, really into this. Um, let's look at my notes. So yeah, for the beginning of it, by the way, it was really good pretty much immediately. I was on board. Um, the music, whoever was, that music was really, really good. The, the pacing of it, it just felt like fast, it just kept going, and I'm like, I'm with all of this right now. Um, all the little, like, I, I don't know if they were AI voices, but, uh, you know, the little robotic voices that were going on throughout the episode pretty good uh you had hashtag games you had like like and subscribe you had all this stuff it was super funny it was super funny 
Um, we got to see Weevils again. I love that. <laughs> oh yeah, and yeah, yeah, we got, um, this is funny. The, I think they mentioned something about like, oh yeah, aliens, uh, what is that? Yeah, they're from a different world, aliens are from a different world. Um, and I'm listening to this episode right when I don't think it really matters. I don't, I think, that's what, that was everybody, I think a lot of people's reaction when it happened, but I mean, they're talking about aliens being real now. Um, which I'm going to say right now, I like a lot of sci-fi, I believe in them, but like this is, uh, I believe something like an official, like someone's like, hey, by the way, in the 1920s, whenever the fuck, uh, we had aliens. Uh, anyway, um, and I like that listening to this episode, it's a funny time to listen to this episode for a lot of reasons. Um, they talk about Twitter in this episode. That has just changed the X. Um, they weren't lying about... The <laughs> this is... This is a... This season... Um, this series, I mean. There's something about this season that is like... It's really capturing the times at the moment. And I really like it. Uh, and I fuck with it a lot. So, let's let's continue. One, I love the perspective of... I, I, I use computer, but I guess social network. Um, I love the perspective of this thing. It, it was actually really fun to follow. Um, <laughs> this is a classic joke. I've seen it a lot. Uh, but it's like the, oh, someone just committed a racism. They did a racism. Um, meme of immigrants. There's just, there's a lot of stuff in this episode that they talk about and I really fucking love. So... Yes, um, one one of my favorite lines. A lot, my notes, by the way, are just like quickly just writing down stuff, so they're not like the most co coherent thoughts. But <laughs> I'm writing down notes. Otherwise, I'd be like, yeah, I liked it anyway. Uh, I'm done. Because um, some of these reviews are short, and I don't want them to be super short. But no, I like a uh, meme. It says memes of immigrants because there are people. I've seen I've seen a lot of stuff. Uh, I'll use my dad's Facebook as an example. Unfortunately. Um, you have memes aren't funny unless <laughs> it was so dude. This is a funny episode, but one of the lines is like, "Memes aren't funny unless you're James's uncle." <laughs> then you find them hilarious. <laughs> uh, that was really funny. I like the like some of these are racist posts, but then some of them are not obvious racism. So I think we should just give them ben the benefit of the doubt and leave them up. Um, goddamn, goddamn, that is funny. Uh, <laughs> I would like to sit on that when I think somebody had their nudes leaked in this episode, uh, videos, that kind of stuff. That is insanely funny. <laughs> People save these photos and then they get angry about them in private. <laughs> Goddamn. Um, I, I want to compliment Mia Hope, by the way, because they carry this episode. Um, whoever the casting person was, fantastic job. But also Mia Hope is doing incredible as this antagonist. I'm very much with them. They're a favorite of mine already. Mm. Um, they talk about Abaddon, and they say nuclear explosion. I don't think it's nuclear explosion exactly, but um, I believe they're referencing the end of season of, of series two. Is that right? Which is, it's, this one has a lot of references. Um, they also say alien prime minister. Uh, am I, is that Rogetta? If someone could correct me, that'd be nice. But is that the person from Series 5 they get killed in Series 6? I don't remember that. I don't remember if they were Prime Minister, but I think they were. Um, nice. They reference uh, Yvonne turning into a Cyberman. Uh, which is a crazy thing to hear. It's, God, there's so I I really loved how this episode referenced literally everything. Like they've been here, the, the social media, uh, the social media network has been here the whole time, and again, it was forgotten. And this is, it's such a, it was really good storytelling, and I was all about it. Um, they talked about the president surrendering and being murdered. Uh, this is, a, I believe that's, I believe they're talking about series three of Doctor Who with the Master. I just rewatched that recently with a friend. Um, <laughs> Great! It's really crazy when they decide to just reference Doctor Who, is it not? <laughs> so weird to me. Um, they reference Children of Earth and Miracle Day. Um, I I love whenever whenever they reference Miracle Day. Um, 
I really want to know how they feel about it, the people writing it, because I know while some of the fan base doesn't like it, I want to know what they feel about it, because I, I, I like it a lot, so that made me happy. Um, I talked about this in a different one, but they again, there's a lot of commentary on making fun of like conspiracies, that type of stuff. But in Torchwood, a lot of these conspiracies are real. <laughs> um, so it's really funny. Again, the, nothing really to say about that, but there's something really funny about that. Um, I really like the line of people are, aren't believing their own eyes, but they're believing the screams. Um, yeah. Dude, people are kind of nutty lately. Um, I'll use TikTok as an example. Um, but I, I did see I did see a joke on there where they were talking about like how we would make fun of our grandparents or just parents believing everything on Facebook. Um, but then you see something on TikTok and then it's like, well, I don't know, maybe that's true, and it's it, it's kind of funny. <laughs> um, this isn't this is quite an episode for commentary to say the least. Um, and no, I really like that comment. Like, they don't believe their own eyes, but they believe what's on the screen. There's something about that that's kind of cool. Um, not in front of my salad. Haven't heard that in years. Been a goddamn while. Um, they fucking referenced the Snyderverse. <laughs> they refer- uh, um, It's funny hearing- there's a lot of references to real stuff in this, and it's very funny, because um, I was not ready for it. Um, something else, a, a movie, a big movie recently just came out. I won't say what movie in case, because technically spoiler, but they do reference the Snyder Cut, and I was not ready to hear it there either. Um, and I love it. I loved it there, and I love it here. It's so funny. Um, Weevil porn. What a crazy thing. I think the fandom's going to have fun with that. Uh... Oh god. <laughs> um, it should I should say, while this episode had a lot of funny stuff, this episode had a lot of um I guess I'll use commentary on the uh people that are like transphobic or like let's say if you go by different pronouns, um they people would see you as a pedophile or they would be uncomfortable around you. Um if you're going into a bathroom it's like what the hell are you doing? That's crazy, you can't do that. And that part was rough to listen to, but I'm glad it was acknowledged. Um, I'm trying to, I mean, we already know that Torchwood is fucking cool um, and chill. They weren't always, um, I, I've talked about it before in my Series 1 review. There's a really transphobic line. I'm, it's like, it comes out of nowhere. Like, you're just hanging out, as usually as transphobia and media does. Um, you're just hanging out, enjoying stuff, and there's like, boom. Uh, we're transphobic, uh, and it's like, okay, that's really, okay, alright, where did that come from? Like, I watched, I watched uh, a movie recently, and it's like, okay, this is a fun time, haha, ha, this is fun. oh, okay, I guess we're just saying that, that's not good. Um, so I like that this was acknowledged here, um, but god, was it rough to listen to, it really was. We got another, um, reference to, um, Rush, I think it's Russian Torchwood. I can't remember. Um, Torchwood Russia. I'm I'm trying to remember all the different things because if I'm remembering correctly, that is the Tosh episode. Is that right? Um, what is it? Episode eight of the Monthly Rangers. I could be wrong, but I think that's Torch Torchwood Russia. Unless I'm being stupid here, and I do believe there's an, a Torchwood India if I remember right from the Torchwood archive, but. Yeah, that stuff is always confusing to me because I just, <laughs> I can only like, canon-wise, I really only think of here. It's weird to think that there are places, or that Torchwood is in other places, though it makes sense. Um, I hope they're doing okay. Uh, <laughs> Colchester's line is like, I won't bother saying your name if you can't spell it right. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> it's really funny. Uh, we got a Yanto mention, which was, I believe it was, like, Tyler, I think Tyler said something along the lines of, like, I loved you more than Yanto ever could, which, goddamn, um, I don't really have any thoughts on that, I just thought that was a fucking, they, they're not being shy with this episode, to say the least, they're, they are not being shy, um, <laughs> what, a, what, what are we calling this, um, 
antagonist, by the way? Is it friend? I'm going to go with friend for now, because I believe they are credited as something else in the first two parts, but in the third part, they might be credited as friend. Uh, me, I hope. So, um, I loved when friend was like, <laughs> everybody fuck off. And then they fucked off. Uh, it's really well, it's well put. It's like, yeah, um, that's what happened. Um, but I really like, there was something really sweet about it. It's like, if this is what they needed to get better, then good. Um, which I like. Um, though, I would not say that is what happens here because they just move on to a different place. But there's people who drop social media and it works out for them. I know I've been thinking about doing that soon um, with all this stuff happening with Twitter or, uh, as I should say, X. Um, it's being like burned into the ground right now. And I'm like, the less I use social media, I've been a lot happier. So I think it's, at least for me, it's on its way out. Um, and I really enjoyed listening to this one. Um, other stuff... I only, I'm at the end of my notes here. So... Um, <laughs> dude, I think... Or... This was before the ending, but Or spoke once, and there's something... I can't even remember what they said, but it was fucking sad. Um, I think it was something about how the world doesn't love them. Again, Or stills the show. Or is so good. Um, I really hated how this was... Put, hated in a good way. Um... That the cavemen, like caveman times, making, discovering fire, making the wheel, whatever, led to social media. Like, if we just put that on the timeline, that bothers the fuck out of me. <laughs> in, in a good way. Um, it's like, god damn it, you're right, it did kind of go out that way. Not a fan of that. <laughs> Not a fan when you say it like that, you know? Um, they reference NFTs, like, where have my apes gone? Um... And I think they say, what does NFT mean? And I think they say non-refundable truth. <laughs> uh, that is hilarious. By the way, I thought I was close to the end of my notes, but I'm only on page one. I forgot I had a second page. I actually have a lot more. I was wondering. I was like, I swear I wrote down a lot more. Um, Iceland. So they talk, like, they talk about how the algorithm is always recommending stuff to you. And I like that stuff with Reese where it's like, oh, oh, both my dogs are near me. Hi, doggies. It's okay. But like Reese is like, this is weird. Gwen, we're getting ads for Iceland. I love that. <laughs> There's just something about that where it's like, oh, that's cute. That's cute. Um, I would say this is the only part I didn't like. They talked about getting canceled. I've never liked the word or how people use it casually. Um, though I do understand what they're saying. And that kind of stuff. I just don't like hearing... I, I don't know. The word... It, it always seems corny to me whenever... Um, people talk about canceling and that kind of stuff. It, it I don't know. That's how I've always felt with it. Um, and it's like, yeah. I think, if anything... I'm, I'm glad it was very, very brief. Um, but no. It's... I've always found it corny when people talk about it. it I, it's, I think it's mostly just the wording. Um... But I do get what they mean. Um, at one point, they used the Captain Jack theme. Very, very brief. Snuck it in for about two or three seconds. Maybe even less. Um, felt, felt a little awkward. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it felt a little awkward. Uh, I'm looking at more stuff. There's a point where everyone, they're just like saying a bunch of hate. Like People are like, uh, like, they're just being like racist, all this type of stuff, like oh Muslims, all this other stuff, and then at one point they just say librarians. <laughs> Again, I don't know who I don't. The comedy in Big Finish, um, and I'll talk specifically Torchwood at the moment, but I, I do believe it's in a lot of their work. Is it's pretty fucking good, and I love it. <laughs> Goddamn. Um, as soon as we get. As soon as we continue from where we left off in episode 8, I think Orr's line, it's like, alright everybody, did we all just experience that, like, group thing that we just had? Okay, that's all I wanted to know. You can kill us now. Uh, I thought that was really funny. God, it's so good. It's so good. We have Yvonne in the tank, and they also said, alright, is everybody in the tank? Uh, if not, that's, uh, it's too late. You should have been in the tank. <laughs> um... It's fucking really funny. Oh, we, we just hit a speed run. 
Uh, that didn't sound like a speed bump. Oh, we just hit another speed bump. It's so good. Um, God damn. God damn. This is, a, this is a, again, I'm, I'm being very brief with my notes. Maybe I'm not saying much. I don't know. But I enjoyed it a lot. I like the line where they're like, they're going to catch up. Uh, but we're going to keep going until they do. It's very Torchwood, and I love whenever they decide to do that. Um, I think at one point, Friend says, I know where I am, and I know what I'll do next. Is that a direct reference to that one episode from Series 5 with the meme? Um, I want to say it's a direct reference. Maybe I misheard it, but that's what it felt like. Um... I don't know. I just thought that was interesting. I, the warning is very familiar. Uh, or find shotgun um, oddly arousing. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Um, also, this ending. What a ending to like. What a choice of an ending. I'm gonna say this. This episode is really good, but we kind of don't take what's happening completely serious all the time. And if it was always like this, it would be bad, because. It's hard to be serious with this stuff. Like, for example, I don't know if it was the audio. I don't know if there was something just different about it. But as soon as we continued off from episode 8 um, to episode 9, like, same location, same everything, it just didn't feel real, if that makes sense. Like, it just felt like people talking, which is realistically what it is. But I wasn't all the way immersed. Like, I did not feel like they were in a room or maybe in danger. It didn't feel real enough. It felt really weird. Um, and I don't know if I can really blame that on anything. But I might say it was because of how non-serious... There's a lot of jokes and a lot of funnies in this episode. We're kind of just hanging out, having a good time. Um, which isn't bad. But it's like, if every episode was like this amount of serious, I think that would be bad. But here, it was really good. Um... <laughs> But yeah, no, we had a fun ending where it's like, all right, you don't have the hub, but we have over here. We have a whole like little ad thing. They do, they, they, they were a little cute. It, they, it reminded me of uh, some of the old uh, monthly range episodes. Um, what an appropriate end for Tyler, by the way, in this one where it's like, Tyler, we need, well, we need a T boy. <laughs> so, uh, do this. Um, this is a really good antagonist. I said it before, but I wrote that down in my notes throughout the whole thing because I just really had a good time. Um, me Again, Mia Hope is fantastic. Something I want to say, by the way, if Reese is on the cover of this part because of this episode, I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> Goddamn. I talked about how Gwen is on the cover of part one, though she is only in a single episode, and I'm going to be real, isn't super relevant to the story, I think, so far. Um, which is fine. I'm going to be real. I'm, I'm completely fine with Big Finish getting their bag. If more people buy this, um, because they see Gwen on the cover, I'm personally, I'm okay with it. Though I do want to acknowledge that it's hilarious. Um, <laughs> with part two, Torchwood Among Us part two, Yanto is on the cover. Do you want to know how um, relevant he is? He's not a lot. <laughs> he really isn't. In this one, Reese is on the cover. What's going to happen with Reese? Now, maybe he will do more. But if, if he is on the cover because of this episode, um, goddamn, is all I'm going to say. Uh, they talk a lot about the beach. And I really thought of, maybe I won't go into it too much because maybe some people haven't seen it, but there is, I think it's the 50th monthly range episode. I could be wrong. Um, but there is this actor narrating, apparently a big actor. I'm sorry, I don't know them too much. But um, there's a lot of beaches mentioned in that episode. Uh, and that is what I was thinking about a lot when they mentioned beach. Um, in the interviews for this one, they talk about AI and where it was. Um, over the last six months, and they talked about like, man, this is probably gonna be really dated. Uh, and holy shit, is it? We're having like, we're at the. There's a lot of stuff with AI going on. Um, and I maybe I could sound a little nutty here, but I think we're at the point with AI where it's like we're we're at the point that people have been warning us about for a while, 
not all the way there when it comes to videos, you know? Most, uh, honestly, it's... It, I kind of love that all this stuff with AI, how dangerous it, it is, all this stuff. Um, people just made a lot of, like, uh, memes and jokes with it, which is very much the internet. And they are funny, but AI is in a certain... I'm, I'm, I was in San Francisco recently, take, like, just being driven around and there were fucking talks about ai on the billboard and stuff like we're at that point um and i love that uh <laughs> i love i don't love that uh in that way i said that wrong uh i love how immediately <laughs> I i've talked about how i like how much this really captures the time it's in um, and I'm a fan. Um, Tracy and Omarin talked about uh, abandoning Twitter. I'm with you all the way. <laughs> I, I I can't say that because I don't know how you feel. I can't say that we're doing it for the same reason, but I'm definitely on my way out. Um, Tyler Still, what's his? What's Johnny Green? He's talking about how he's the Facebook generation. I'm also the Facebook generation. I used Facebook in what seventh seventh grade, something like that, uh, and Instagram. I haven't used too much, honestly, but yeah. And my final, my final note here is, um, it's about the antagonist, as it should be. I, I, I understand them, and I really like this antagonist. It's weird. I think if you delivered a lot of this stuff, like if this wasn't tortured, I could find a lot of this corny. Um, but because it is tortured, I'm really into this. An evil social media network. I mean, that could, that could be really dumb <laughs> uh, but I'm, I'm completely with it here so yeah this first episode of the final four episodes Torchwood Among Us Part 3 um, really good this was a fantastic episode I cannot wait to listen to more um, I'm lovely I hope you enjoyed this uh, god damn <laughs> god damn no I really like this episode but yeah I'll see you next time goodbye <laughs>